What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Clinton. This is my 1996 Jeep Cherokee XJ. If you haven't seen it already, I'm gonna put a link in the description of a full build walk around so you can see everything that I've done as it sits right as it is now. Today, though, is a big day because we got new bead locks for this axle swap. It's exciting stuff, but first, let's give you an update on where I'm at with the axle swap. So, the axles are prepped. They're ready to be welded. I am waiting on the truss kit to get here. And then my friend needs to bring his welder over. We're going to weld it. So that's like another week or two out. It's not a huge rush. Second, I'm waiting for my wheels and tires to sell and my rear bumper since I'm not going to be using a rear bumper tire carrier. With a 37, I just, I don't want to put this, the weight and the stress. A 35 was already pushing it. So uh, I'm going to sell that and I'm probably just going to put a stock bumper on until I figure out which bumper I want to go with. So that's where I'm at with the build. Nothing else has really been ordered. I just have my wheels. I have my truss kit coming in. The axles are prepped. Uh, I still need steering components. I'm going to need control arms, um, possibly drive shafts right away. I, I'm going to see if I can't reuse mine temporarily just because obviously funding. But if I can sell my, my rims and tires, my rear bumper, my old axles, and all of that, it should cover the rest of the cost of everything. So I should be able to wrap this swap up within the next month, maybe two, no more than two, hopefully. S because I want to get this thing on the trails once everything freaking opens back up. So let's go ahead and do this wheel reveal because I know you guys have been waiting. Here they are. All right, guys, here they are. We got ATX. Slab bead locks. How about it, dudes? I think they're gonna be so awesome on this build. Let's tell you the story on it. So, I went to go pick up some method wheels, some used ones, loaded them up in the car, paid the guy, was about to leave, and he goes, hey, if you know anyone looking for some bead locks, I've got some for sale. So I was like, sweet, what's your price? Told me the price, and I was like, I'll take the bead locks, let's load them up. It's kind of a spur of the moment thing, wasn't really planned. But I am super happy that we went that route because this is going to be a huge game changer for this build. So that's the story on the wheels. Let's go ahead and talk about what I want to do with this ring. So I currently am not sure if I want to keep it raw aluminum. Um, I, I love the, the look of the raw aluminum, but I, I have no silver on this Jeep, like, like literally none. So I, I just don't know if raw aluminum is the way to go, but here's my thoughts. I can paint it flame red to match the car. I know a lot of people do that, but I think it would look pretty good. Or I can just paint it gloss black and we can just do black on black, which would still look good with the color contrast that I have going. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Uh, this is pretty much all I have for you guys today. This next weekend, I'm getting in some Overland stuff that I'm gonna be installing. It's gonna be some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna make a video next week on that. So stay tuned for that. I have more content coming. Other than that, I appreciate all of the support. Please like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go follow my Instagram page. It's jc underscore jeeps. And we'll see you next week. Later, guys.